How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews. <sighs> Back with some Bissell Brothers up in this piece. This is their baby genius. Um, full disclosure, I'm going into this beer review with the preconceived notion that I'm going to love this beer. I know that's the last thing any of us want to do when it comes to beer reviews and all that kind of fun stuff, but I love this beer. Um, from the first time I had it, several years ago when I was up in um, up in Maine, um, to where the last time I really drank this beer was probably about two years ago. Almost like on the nose two years ago. So, two years ago, um, actually no, three? Holy shit, three years ago? Anyway, um, the last Shelton Brothers Festival, and it was in Buffalo, New York, I think it was 2019, I believe. Um, I went up there to interview the Shelton Brothers for the podcast, ended up going up there and hanging out with a bunch of, you know, beer tubers and stuff like that in the Buffalo area, and ended up going to a draft house out that way that had this on draft. And, uh, Drank the crap out of it. Loved it completely and haven't had it since. But my boy Oak Rich, Darren, hooking it up. He got this, uh, you know, not too long ago, about a month or so ago. And he says, I'm going to drop off a can of this. Crickets. He's like, I'm going to drop off a can. It's going to be fantastic. Nothing. Silence. I was like, mm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And today he's like, I'm dropping it off today. So now we're reviewing it. 4.0%. ABV, Baby Genius. Um, this is canned, looks like, sometime in August. You know, we're about two months in. That's fine. Fine by me. Um, and it's a hazy, hoppy session beer. Eclectic and crushable. Courtesy of, like I said, my boy Oak Ridge, but more specifically, Bissell Brothers. So we'll see how this sucker shows and proves. And... Hopefully, it lives up to my personal hype. Um, Label-wise, I'm not a big fan of the label. It's a little bit neurotic, crazy, almost like um, like a... It's not like monster energy drink level kind of weirdness, but it has some kind of like monster had a baby with like Xbox going on. So I'm not going to sit here and say I love the label, but eh. beer-wise. Looks all a part of a nice, rich, robust kind of well-done Relatively low ABV hazy, but I mean, you're talking about 4%. I think I've had this at lower than 4%. I could be wrong. Um, but this rich orange core, pinky finger of infinitely creamy, fluffy head. We're off to a pretty good start right now. Let's get a nose. I mean, it does bring this kind of heft to it. That is much bigger than 4%. I'm not going to sit here and say it's like 7 8%. You're getting those six ranges, and you're getting a bittering, and you're getting a kind of tropical fruit portion of the show here. So you're getting a soft little kind of green bittering to it. You're getting a nice kind of tropical fruit, kind of sweet, kind of fruitiness, juiciness from it that comes off meaningful, purposeful, but nothing overly aggressive it's not a two by four to the face more like a one by one maybe a maybe a half inch dowel to the face i don't know but it smells hoppy it smells rich it smells nice it smells robust for its abv four percent that's the thing you have to really keep in mind here is that this beer is not big and it's coming off a little bit bigger decent amount bigger than the nose lead you to believe so rich hazy notes in and out let's dive in cheers Yeah, I'll drink this all day. I mean, coming into it now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It's not exactly what I remember it being as far as being awestruck. But all the elements are there. It has this really nice kind of green, danky, um, kind of green presence to it that kind of just brings this richness and boldness to the beer that makes you think you're drinking something quite a bit bigger than four percent sure like i said we're not getting into the seven seven and a half percent range but you know blind i might think we're eking into that you know six percent range that proof portion of the show the lack of sweetness really does kind of uh, show its hand here because it's not sweet you know it's lower abv than what you'd expect for something like this. But 
the way the fruit comes off, that meaningfulness, that purposefulness of this tropical fruit leaning that stone fruit with that pithy kind of grapefruit bittering. It definitely shows you a very aggressive yet crushable uh, kind of hot presence on that side of things. So you're getting that nice kind of green dankiness on one side of things. You're getting that nice kind of fruit portion of show without being overly sweet, under sweetened, under ripened kind of fruitiness going on. It's honestly one of the better low ABV beers. Or more specifically, low ABV hazies that I've honestly ever had. You know, going into this, I expected something a little bit more showy, something a little bit more aggressive. Well, I'm not getting that here. It's honestly just a really well done, really tasty beer. And if you're talking about 4%, you give me a sixth of this. You give me a 24 pack. You give me a case of this. This is kind of a staple I want in my household. You know, low EVV, big impact from hops, drinkability. It's almost, it is a session ale. That's the, probably the thing that I haven't um, kind of talked about, I guess, enough is that the way the hops kind of come off, both on the fruit side of things, both on the bittering side of things, it is a session ale. I think you can drink like an easily put down a six pack of this and I don't think it's going to weigh heavy on the palate and just be a really tasty beer. Yeah. Fantastic. Chuggable. Drinkable. I'm a fan. There you go. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. Big hot presence. Nice reserved sweetness, but at the same time, you know, you're drinking a relatively impactful IPA. And in a beautifully well done, low ABV kind of, kind of frame. Um, yeah. Is this one of the better low ABV hazies I've had as of late? Absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, that's kind of a given on this one. And probably one of the better ones I've had ever. My mind, again, I keep wanting to go back to this. My mind remembers this being a little bit more bigger, a little bit more bolder. But, you know, sometimes you kind of create those things in your brain now if i'm you know two months old on this maybe it's a little bit bigger a little bit more richer uh if it's more fresh but at this level and what it's producing right now i have no qualms buying this and drinking this um vague availability on this thing no idea um uh i think i bought some of these when i was at Bissell, like several years ago, but I couldn't tell you what I paid for it. So, uh, Darren Oakridge, let me know what's what when it comes to where you got this and how much you paid. Um, and leave you with if you like what well, you like this, if you like just big, rich, well done, hazy IPAs that happen to be sub 5%, then you will love this. So, there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it more specifically, if you've had this beer, please let me know. Um, massive beers, if you want to check me out in the social media stuff, Beer Massive, podcasting stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little bit of a, yeah, a baby genius right now. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Cheers.